Welcome to iLecture Online. Here's our second example with moments and forces. In this particular case, we have a bracket which is attached at the wall that's at the origin. We have the x-axis going to the right, the y-axis coming up, and the z-axis coming straight out of the board. Attached to that bracket is a long pipe. It is 9 feet long, and at the end of the pipe there's a beam attached which is 8 feet long. Notice there are four forces acting on the structure. There's a 50 pound force pushing against the, the pipe here, which is three feet away from the wall. There's a second force, 50 pound force, acting at the bottom of this beam, notice in the opposite direction to this 50 pound force. So this is in the negative x direction, this is the positive x direction, so those two forces make a couple. There's a third force, a 30 pound force, which is pushing towards the wall at the very top of this beam. So that would be in the negative z direction. There's another 30 pound force, which is pushing away from the wall at the bottom of this beam. That would be the positive z direction. So these are both in opposite directions. Those form a couple as well. So that means that those two couples will form two moments. And what we're trying to do is find the total moment caused by all four, or all four of the forces. We also realize that the moment is basically a vector, and so we can write that the moment is equal to the moment in the x direction plus the moment in the y direction plus the moment in the z direction, at least the components of the moment in the various directions x, y, and z. So the easiest way to do this is to find the x, the y, and the z components of the moment and simply add them together. So, first of all, Notice that the 30 pound force and the 30 pound force here acting in the opposite direction will cause a rotational motion about this beam if it were able to rotate. So it causes a torque or a moment. And if I use my fingers and curl in the direction that the force would cause this to rotate, you can see that my thumb points to the left, which is the negative x direction. So we can find the, mo the moment in the x direction caused by these two forces right here. We could do as follows, the moment in the x direction is going to be equal to the force times the distance. The force that will cause a moment in the x direction is a 30 pound force, so it's equal to 30 pounds, multiplied times the distance between the two lines of action between these two forces, which is 8 feet. That means the total moment will be 240 foot pounds. Now, the direction will be negative, so if we want to write that in a vector format, we can say that the component of the moment in the x direction is going to be equal to a minus 240 foot-pounds in the x direction. So the negative means it's a negative x direction. And again, you can see that if I use my fingers here, that's going to be a, well, looking from the top, it's going to be a clockwise... Yeah, it's going to be, sometimes it's hard to see, it's going to be a clockwise moment, so therefore we get the negative value right there. Okay, now taking a look here, notice that the, the 50 pound force here is acting 4 feet above the 50 pound force here. So there's a 4 foot differential in the y direction, and then you can see that the 50 pound force here is acting 6 feet away in the z direction compared to the 50 pound force here. So we have a distance in the y direction, a distance in the z direction. Notice that if we consider the distance in the z direction, the 6 feet, notice that this will cause a moment in the y direction. So this will cause the bar to turn this way, this will cause the bar to turn this way, so which is a, looking from the top, a counterclockwise direction. That means it's a negative moment caused by this separation in the z direction of these two forces. So we can say that the moment in the y direction is equal to the force times the distance. The force causing that moment is the 50 pound force. And the distance, notice it would be the 6 feet distance in the z direction which causes a moment in the y direction and it's a positive moment because looking from the top it's counterclockwise so it would be 50 pounds times 6 feet which is equal to 300 foot pounds of torque or a moment of 300 foot-pounds and so writing that as a vector quantity that would be equal to a positive 300 foot-pounds in the y direction. All right, finally we need to find the component of the moment in the z direction and that will depend upon this separation distance. Notice that 
this force right here will cause the whole thing to rotate in that direction this will cause the whole thing to rotate in the other direction so you see that the rotational motion would be like this looking from the front that is counterclockwise that's a positive torque that means that the torque or the moment will be pointing outward away from the bracket in the positive z direction so it's a positive moment so the moment in the z direction is equal to the force causing that times the distance the force is a 50 pound force and the distance would be a vertical four feet so that would be equal to 200 foot pounds of torque or 200 foot pound the moment the z component of the moment is 200 foot pounds so writing that as a vector the component z direction would be equal to 200 it's a positive 200 foot pounds in the z direction so finally, if one express the total moment caused by those four forces, we simply add the components together. So the moment can then be written as the moment in the x direction, which is a minus 240 foot-pounds in the x direction, plus a 300 foot-pounds in the y direction. Oop, we like to use the symbol J, and plus 200 foot-pounds a force in the z direction and so this would be the total moment now if we want to find the magnitude of the moment we simply square each component add it together take the square root and that gives you the magnitude of the moment as well of course that would require the three direction cosines to figure out what the direction would be pointing uh, the direction that the total moment would point into but if we want to go ahead and show you what the components look like in the x direction it would be a minus 240 foot pounds so minus 240 foot pounds in the x direction in the y direction it would be a positive 300 foot pounds and in the z direction it would be a positive 200 foot pounds so you can see that the moment would kind of look like this and it would be rotating in this direction so that would be the equivalent moment which is defined by that right there and that's how we find the moment caused by multiple forces acting on a single structure